guys happy Friday to everybody so today I'm gonna to share with you my Friday favorites there are no flops this week so nothing bad to talk about I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in first thing I'm gonna start with is the perfume I've been wearing most of the week and it's actually just a body spray from Bath and Body Works and it's the warm vanilla sugar warm vanilla sugar is one of my favorite fragrances from Bath and Body Works and um, I actually, I can just spray this stuff like onto my clothing when I get it on like my arms accidentally, like my upper arms where I have my eczema issues, it totally flares up my eczema, but I refuse to not use this stuff, so I've just been spraying it on my clothes before I put them on, and the scent actually seems to linger a little bit longer. This is just the Fine Fragrance Mist, so it's not very heavily fragranced. It doesn't last all day, but I find that I actually get longer wear out of it by spraying it onto my clothes versus onto my skin. So um, the warm vanilla sugar is definitely one that I recommend, especially for this time of year because it just smells so delicious. It's very warm. It's very sweet. Um, just like the perfect like holiday type of scent. So really, really love this. The candle favorites from the week have definitely been these two and I've been burning them together all week long and I just fell in love with the combination so it's Mary Cookie of course both are from Bath and Body Works and then Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow and um, someone pointed out in my video which I uploaded yesterday that there is actually because I was talking about how I call these two like Mary Marshmallow when I burn them together um, someone pointed out that there is a candle from Yankee Candle called Mary Marshmallow and I think that I knew that but um, I'm I don't think that that's why I <laughs> keep thinking of these two as Mary Marshmallow I think I just put it together in my head because it shortened the name of the combination for me so at any rate this is delicious. Oh, this combination basically just smells like cookies, cookies and marshmallow fluff. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, if you have both of these candles in your collection, light them at the same time and then be prepared to just be transported to like candle heaven. Like, so, so good. So good. Okay, Um, let's get into... A lotion product okay so this I've only been using for the last two days and I've been using it on my legs and it's the hemp's pure herbal extracts vanilla plum um, herbal body moisturizer I've always heard really good things about hemp's um, but have never tried it because it's, it's a pretty expensive moisturizer but I came across it at my local TJ Maxx it was $12.99 so I grabbed two I really love the fragrance it definitely has like a vanilla base to it and then like a sweet sweet fruity sweet fruity scent <laughs> that's the best way that I can put it so um, I don't use this on my upper body I've just been using it on my legs after I get out of the shower and my legs are so soft you guys this this is some great stuff I had like I said this is my first time actually using the hemp's moisturizer and it really is like it's worth the hype I would probably recommend seeing if you can find these at your local TJ Maxx Marshalls or home goods um, they seem to have these in stock right now. Actually, am I lying about Home Goods? I usually don't find body care items at Home Goods. No, I don't. So, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, maybe even Ross. Worth checking there first. However, I do think that Ulta has these buy one, get one half off now. And you can use that 350 off coupon. So, might be worth it for that. But, wow, this is a great moisturizer. It's not greasy. It's not heavy. Like, about five minutes after putting this on my legs I was able to put my leggings on and I didn't have to like tug or like it didn't feel greasy or gross or anything so this is fantastic I really I really like this a lot I'll be getting some more of that when I run out okay skincare item okay so nude skincare did send this to me this is the nude detox brightening fizzy powder wash Holy cow, is this a great cleanser, you guys. It is so unique. So it's it's a powder, and what you do is you just put a little bit out into your palm, then you add some water, and it literally starts to fizz. It kind of has the same, like, when you like put Pop Rocks in your mouth, <laughs> like that same kind of, like, fizzy, sparkly kind of action, 
and then you put it on your skin it's an exfoliator it's a little bit gritty but not like overly gritty and you just feel it like you just buffing your skin it feels so good and it gets my skin so incredibly clean this is amazing stuff I really I don't know that like I had super high expectations for it but it definitely like exceeded the expectations that I did have um, I didn't realize that it would be like an actual like fizzing type of cleanser but it is like you can feel the little bubbles kind of when you're like rubbing it on your skin this is just fantastic this also has vitamin C omegas 3 6 and 9 and rosehip seed extract in it this is definitely worth checking out guys so the nude skincare detox brightening fizzy powder wash I believe that you can get this on the nude skincare website which I will list down below for you guys or you can get it at Sephora so definitely worth checking out it's really really neat stuff love it okay um, let's talk about lips okay I have a is it worth the splurge video coming up on these lippies tomorrow so um, I've got it all edited and ready to go this is the bite beauty luminous cream lipstick in musk now I really I like this lipstick I do um, I'm gonna kind of like it's a little bit of a spoiler <laughs> for the video tomorrow but um, I purchased these when they were on sale at Sephora and I definitely think that they were worth trying I have two I have the kava and then I have musk which is the one I've been wearing most of this week um, I think they were definitely worth trying when they were on sale um, they're really moisturizing they are more of a lip balm type product to me than really a lipstick they certainly provide some color payoff but they did not have the color payoff that I thought that they did um, which is fine because I really find it to be a great option when I want a much more neutral natural looking lip and this musk color in particular is just a really pretty um, like neutral pink brown it's really it's lovely um, and I've definitely enjoyed wearing it I'm not wearing it right now I'm wearing something else but I'm gonna save well I'll tell you what I have on my lips because I'm sure you guys will ask but it's the NARS audacious and Bridget and then I topped it off with the NYX butter gloss and creme brulee so that's that's what I have on my lips right now I did post a picture of this on Instagram this morning Whew, these lipsticks they're pretty amazing <laughs> But um, anyway, that musk lipstick was great to wear this week as a wonderful neutral, definitely creamy, definitely moisturizing, um, a good lipstick. Just, I think the price tag is a little high for what it is. So we'll kind of leave it at that. Be sure to watch the, um, is it worth the splurge video tomorrow. All right, on my brows this week. I really love the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and during the VIB sale, I was going to get, um, sorry, I really love the Anastasia Dip Brow. Did I say Brow Wiz? <laughs> I really love this, but I wanted to try the Brow Wiz just because I always hear everybody talking about it. However, when I got to Sephora and actually started looking around, I already had the Brow Wiz in my little basket. Then I found this. This is the Sephora Retractable Brow Pencil, and I chose the color natural gray brown this is what I have on my eyebrows today and it's the same amount as the Anastasia brow Wiz. basically the exact same like size just a very fine thin tip on it the only difference is that the brow Wiz has the spoolie and this has this really weird comb thing and then that's useless that's useless um, but the, the the spoolie thing wasn't the selling point for me because I have a really nice brow brush that I use. This is one from Real Techniques. Um, I decided to go ahead and just grab this because this was $13 and the Brow Wiz was $21, I believe. And um, the color that I was going to get in the Brow Wiz is taupe. And the closest that I could find on the, with the Sephora brand was the natural gray brown. And it's actually a really good fit for me. I like the color. Um... The taupe from Anastasia may have been a little bit of a better fit, but I can make this work, especially with the difference in the price between the two. This is a really great product. I intend on doing a, um, a video just about this, talking about it a little bit more in depth, but I just really liked using this this week, and I find it to be 
a really great dupe for the Brow Wiz. I have used the Brow Wiz in store at Sephora, so I've definitely, I've used it a couple times actually, and it's, it's very nice. Um, however, this is the exact same thing. <laughs> so there you go. The Tamana palette from Anastasia. So I, um, there was a reason that I ended up with this, and the reason being is that I was originally going to get the Rainforest After Dark during the VIP sale, but with the whole debacle about the website crashing, I wasn't able to get it before it sold out, even though I already had it in my cart. Thanks, Sephora. So I wanted to like replace it with something, not that I need to replace it with another eyeshadow palette. However, I saw this and was like, that's really nice. <laughs> I really like the colors in there. They're very interesting. So I decided to go ahead and get this instead. And this Tamana palette is gorgeous. I've used several of these colors this week. I've used Gilded Custom. Um, today I'm wearing China Rose on my lid and then a combination of Chocolate and Bengal in my crease. Um, I'm dying to do a look with the Sangria, so I'm planning on using that tomorrow. Um, I've used the Noir as my eyeliner pretty much all week. What an awesome palette. It's 29 bucks. I was able to get it at 20% off, so it's an even better deal. These shadows are the most amazing quality. They're beautiful. They're so pigmented. They're so easy to work with. I had no idea. Like, people have told me that the Anastasia palettes are fantastic, but I was always like, eh, 29 bucks, like how fantastic can they be? Because, <laughs> um, you know, in my head, really good eyeshadows cost a lot of money, i.e. Lorac, Urban Decay, blah, 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 everything else that I own. But I got to say, Anastasia makes some really great shadows, and it makes me interested in some of her other palettes that she has. So the Tamana palette is a winner. All right. Um, I've been wearing this mascara all week and I really like it a lot. I have three, uh, sorry, I think four more. I don't know where they are. I think I got a total of five of these uh, as 100 point perks. It's the Dior Iconic Overcurl. What a fantastic mascara. Holy cow. I would totally spring for the full size. <laughs> got a curved brush which I love and it's also a natural bristle the formula is nice and thick it is not only lengthening it's also thickening and um, it doesn't flake it doesn't smudge it doesn't transfer it's lovely nothing bad to say about this mascara nothing bad at all it's just it's a beautiful product so if you haven't tried it and you can get it as a hundred point perk totally worth trying okay blushes there have been a couple that I've been sporting for most of the week. And I've gone back to my Tarte Pinup Girl palette, and I realize this is now sold out, so I even hate to talk about it, but there are two colors that I wore this week, and it's this one here and this one here. Sorry, I threw the little label away. I meant to like cut the names out and like tape them underneath, but I just, I can't be bothered with stuff like that. I, I don't know. My time is precious. <laughs> And I have to use it in more productive ways than like cutting like the little names out of like the cellophane thing that comes on top of this. So at any rate, this plummy color here is gorgeous. Oh, I just I love this so much. And also this one here next to it, which is more of like a um, peachy. I would say that's a peachy mauve almost. It's so pretty. It's a satin finish. Oh, my God, I'm going to sneeze. Don't sneeze. Uh Okay, I think it passed. Um, so those two I've been wearing this week, and then today, and then I think actually yesterday as well, I was wearing Sweet Pea from Becca. Ooh, this blush is so delicious, you guys. This is the prettiest fall mauve, plummy mauve that, oh my God, I love this. I love it so much. Um, if you can get your hands on it, I believe that Sephora sold out during like the VIB sale. I hope they get it back in stock soon. This is absolutely worth picking up. You must try this. You really must. <laughs> so anyway, those are the products that I have kind of been like gravitating towards this week. Um, leave me any questions down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.